In the Bible, what is often translated as betrothed was in Hebrew aras. Betrothing is erosin. These Hebrew words mean bound or spoken for and were used to indicate that a man and woman were connected matrimonially. At the point of their betrothal, erosin, the people are considered husband and wife. It was usual for the betrothed couple to wait some time before the consummation. Once everything had been prepared, a celebratory wedding was held when the husband brought his bride to live with him. Besides having the woman's agreement to the match and her father receiving a bride price, the scripture makes no further regulations for conducting erosin. The Jews throughout the centuries instituted various rules for entering matrimony. They said to perform erosin there needs to be two witnesses. The groom has to give the bride an object of value such as a coin or a gold ring. They also require a written contract or ketubah, which is now usually read in the middle of their marriage ceremony, to separate the betrothal half from the second stage of the ceremony they call nisuin, which means to carry or to take. Prior to the 12th century, rabbis would require erosin, the binding, and nisuin, the taking, to be at least a year apart. Thus kiddushin, which means set apart, was often used by Jews to refer to betrothing because they wanted to emphasize that the husband and wife were not permitted the marriage bed until the required amount of time had elapsed. Later, the Jewish leaders decided it would be simpler if the betrothal, erosin, and the taking, nisuin, occurred on the same day. It's possible Catholic rulings influenced Judaism because Christianity started practicing day of wedding betrothals around the same time, whereas prior to that, the church was also doing more like what the Bible describes. Changing betrothal, erosin, to occur on the same day as the taking and honeymoon had some unforeseen negative consequences. People planning to marry could no longer build relationship and romance within a covenant like they used to, but instead were forced to either wed as strangers or start relating like husband and wife prematurely. The references to betrothal in the scripture became misunderstood when readers were no longer doing what was practiced. The picture of our being covenanted with and being separated from the Savior bridegroom and our similarity to a bride waiting for his expected return is diminished. Recognition of what was lost has led many believers to return to the biblical model of betrothal.